Hey everybody, JK Calloway here, jumping back into Watchmen, episode 5, it's called Little Fear of Lightning. What the hell could that mean? <laughs> Everything else that's going on. I did read the synopsis on HBO Now, I did say basically this is going to be uh, Looking Glass's backstory, which is going to be very interesting to see what that's all about. On top of that, uh, it looks like Vate is going to make an attempt at escaping uh, by way of catapult? <laughs> Before we go and make sure you do hit subscribe for me right down there. I always appreciate when you do. Lots of good stuff coming up on the channel. Uh, it's winter break week the last week beforehand, so both This Is Us and The Good Place, which we watch Thursday and Friday on the channel here, are going to be taking their winter break, so we are going to be starting on Thursdays, The Mandalorian, and then on Fridays, His Dark Materials. I almost forgot what it was for a second. Excited to watch those two, have not seen any of either, so very excited to see what those shows have to offer, and uh, see if uh, Disney has me killed for watching it. The Mandalorian, that is. I might die. Also, starting on Saturday is coming up. Uh, either this week or next. I'm still working out kinks, but uh, Patreon exclusive, we're going to start watching The Leftovers. I know I said I was going to watch it on the channel, but it was a Patreon request, and uh, so I decided, you know what? We're going to make that a Patreon exclusive. So, if you want to see what I think of that show, and of course, let me know what you think of that show, head to Patreon, patreon.com slash jkcalloway, sign up. We're going to do the $5 tier for that one. Uh, you know, standard stuff, he. But yeah, the leftovers is gonna be a Patreon exclusive. So yeah, it's good so far. I've watched like three of them. I've recorded three, and I'm in the editing process. And goddamn, it's good. <laughs> it's messed up, but it's good. All right, little fear of lightning. I, I want to hear more about the squids. They that just kind of happened in episode one. It just rained a little little bit of squids. And they haven't really brought it up. Looking Glass brought it up. He was like looking at uh, pictures of the squids and talking about how they only live for 30 seconds just to die. But what are they? Why does that happen? Is it something to do with the giant squid that, you know, smart guy <laughs> dropped on Manhattan? <laughs> Hoboken. Nothing good happens in Hoboken. And you are? They stopped on his face like I should know. Damn it. Let us pray. Oh good. Father, hold us in your light as we prepare to enter the whore's den. The whore's den? Midnight, on the very brink of extinction. A minute before midnight. Tick tock, Wade. Tick tock. Wade? Is that looking glass? Are you ready to hear the truth? What the fuck are you supposed to make? The doomsday clock just moved to one minute to midnight. At this very moment, the entire group leader arsenal of our great country is ready to launch at the Russians. And vice versa. In the kingdom of heaven, all God's creations live in peace with each other. Real quick, this is 1985, and throughout this entire show and the backstory I read about the comic and everything, the most unrealistic thing I've seen so far man buns in 1985. That hair would be teased up. Leave him alone. Come on. I want to hear more about the tenders. Uh-huh. Well, what are you afraid of? Let's see. Careless whisper in the background. It's adorable. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. What? Have you ever had sex with a person? No. This might be your last chance, Oklahoma. You don't want to get nuked before you get fucked. 
<laughs> yeah. He'll live it up to that whore's den gimmick. Please, I, I don't want to. Sure looks to me like you do. Don't close your eyes. Fuck you, Bible boy. Yeah. Oh! Oh! You tell me. Pretty much. You're pathetic. And you're a sinner. And you're a sinner. Shut up. You're a filthy, dumb sinner, and now you get what you deserve! Which is? Oh, shit. Was that the... They were in Jersey. Was that the giant squid or whatever? Or was... Are they going with the movie and it was like a giant pulse? I'm not really sure what the movie was. I didn't... Freak me out like that. Is that her? Okay. Holy shit. Were you protected in there? Okay, there's a bunch of people that survived. But, god damn, what happened? Did you explain? Yeah. yeah. Shot right there. That's a Stranger Things vibe if I ever saw one. How far is Hoboken from New York City? Like Manhattan. They're going giant squid on it. So they're going comic book. Nice. But fuck. Start spreading the news. We came back for all the hit Broadway shows. You know how we like our squid now? With lemon and a little muddy milk. Stop it. Come back to New York. They despised it. What? They despised your commercial. No, they, they, they all said they loved it. You didn't hire me to tell you what they said. You hired me to tell you the truth. They told you they loved it because what hot-blooded Oklahoma male is gonna admit he's scared? I watched them watch, and what I saw was fear. It was 30 years ago. Everybody's over it, they've moved on. Well, sir, in my professional opinion, they ain't moving on to New York. Like, it, obviously not intentional, but like, simple parallel 9-11 you know it wasn't 3 million people it was 3,000 but it just it fucked us up as a country the further we get away from it people won't admit like oh okay that was that was 20 years ago but still it's still right there it's still omnipresent so you know there's a parallel I guess people some certain people are not going to admit they're afraid of something Seriously, Trent Reznor is killing it on this show with the music, with right, the so score. You gathered up the usual suspects, beat the shit out of them at your little black site, stuffed them in Mirror Guy's interrogation pod, so now we're going to do things my way. Uh-oh. We can't see who they are, but we can see where they are. You find this church, maybe we find the cavalry. I want units checking every house of That's smart. within 50 miles of Tulsa. There can't be less than four or 5,000 of them, right? Go get me some religion. <laughs> what did your ex say about the pills? Nothing as a year. Did you tell her that it was important? Hey, mirror guy. Hey, got a minute? Wait, well, you, you can take the mask off. I know what you look like. Reg say to keep them on inside the precinct. Why? We're all on the same side. The concealment of identity is critical to our safety. 
Wait, do you think I'm a member of the 7th Cavalry? No, ma'am. You were in New York on 11-2, huh? New Jersey, actually. You still scared shitless? Excuse me? I've heard that people who were in the psychic blast zone still wake up in the middle of the night screaming. I sleep great. And once they let your yahoos put masks on, you had an excuse to wrap your entire head in reflective team. Implying what? Guaranteed protection from psychic blasts. Ergo, you sleep great. Huh. Market research. Okay. Oh, shit, wait. There was one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Calm down, Columbo. What pills? I'm sorry. Well, I bugged the cactus on your desk, and Angela Abar... Sorry. Sister Knight was just asking about some pills. You bugged my cactus. Well, don't take it personally. I'm FBI. We bug shit. So. <sighs> what pills? Okay, so the mask actually prevents psychic. Okay. I mean, if he was in Jersey when that happened, that absolutely makes sense that he would want protection from that for the rest of his fucking life. Let's see, his hat, the hat he was wearing had it too. When can you get me a new unit? No, 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 uh-uh, no way, no good. I'm gonna need a tuna. Post pay, soon as you can. We can do an overnight rush, that's gonna cost as much as the unit itself. No problem, that's great, overnight, do that. Yes, sir. And throw in another roll of reflective team while you're at it. Yes, sir. And thank you for being a valued customer of Extra Dimensional Securities. Extra Dimensional Securities. When you find your true love. Naked eye, be honest. Do these dogs look exactly the same to you? Just a little smaller. Shit. You wondering? What am I gonna do with a dog? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. See the hat is back. Did she just incinerate that dog? That's not okay. It's nostalgia. Nostalgia? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What does that mean? Also sure they outlawed those. Because it turns out putting memories into pill form led to psychosis. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I heard about something about nostalgia. It was like... But I, I didn't realize it was a drug. Like I thought... I, I don't know. I think that was a drug or something like that. Like living other people's memories. I don't know. For seven years I tried to convince you that I wasn't going to run off with your clothes and leave you naked all by yourself. Huh. Seven years of bad luck. Hmm. The mirror's breaking. You hear the background? Carol's whisper. Acoustic. Nice touch. Welcome aboard. Is that Trixie? Is that Trixie? Alright, Trixie's on the show. Sweet. She's awesome. Keep calling EDS. I love Trixie. Hang up. On 11 2, the Soviet Union was on the verge of annihilating us. And we were more than prepared to return the favor. Then that enormous tentacled abomination teleported into New York. If it hadn't arrived when it did, we would all be ash. It united us against a common threat. Right. So he has succeeded. End. Of course it does. So he's leading the support. There are other dimensions. Yes. But this is the dimension where we live, and we will not live in fear. Okay. 
So he leads a support group for people that are still freaked out about the, the squid attack in Manhattan. Some kind of psychic thing, too. Like the, the uh, psychic squid. I knew that part. I don't know what that meant. I don't believe you. Sorry? There's no light. You're still in the tunnel. I bet you're just as batshit as the rest of us. Bats do shit in tunnels. Sadly, there's no way to settle that bet until we can assess your trauma relative to mine. Follow me. I've seen Jesus play a thing. Follow Trixie. I was standing. She probably won't steal your clothes. I mean, and the devil in Seattle. She might, though. <laughs> we used to eat buckets of sugar and we won't Vietnam. Technically, Dr. Manhattan won Vietnam. You <laughs> see the point. Pale Horse? Pale Horse. It came out in 92. Steven Spielberg? Won like a gazillion Oscars? Right, right. Pale sure. Horse? I haven't seen it. Well, I've seen it a thousand times. At least that's when I stopped counting. I know everything about that movie. It's called Pale Horse because that's the name of the band that was playing Madison Square Garden when the squid hit. Anyway, there's this one scene with this little girl in a red coat. The movie's black and white, so the red really pops, you know? They're saying Steven Spielberg, instead of making Schindler's List, made a movie about what happened in Manhattan and the squid called The Pale Horse because that's the band that was playing Madison Square Garden when it happened. stupid being obsessed with a movie but watching it just makes me feel better face your fears then because I'm scared all the time you know there's a squid fall and people just pull their cars over and turn their wipers on like aliens aren't falling from the fucking sky why isn't everybody petrified? It's just tobacco. A controlled substance, nonetheless. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Why are you gonna call the cops? Use my last quarter, call Wait. in the cab. It does smell awful good. The tobacco's illegal, huh? I'm a smoker. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Boo should be illegal too, though. Does a lot of harm. More than most drugs. See you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit. The piece of shit who shot the cop. Dispatch. This is Glass. Did we ever recover the truck from the guy that shot something? Call you back. Fuck, dude. No, you're... You're hammed up. This could be a big problem. Granted, that moment might sober you up real fast, too. And this was a setup. There's... Oh, God damn it. Trixie wanted to see him... Wanted him to see her get in that truck. Oh, did she put one on, too? What are you doing? Dude, dude, dude. Wait for backup. Also, there's a ticking sound in the background. What are you doing? You out of your fucking mind, dude. Watch, they wanted you to find that gun. It's empty. 
that goddamn ticking sound is getting louder. There's your church. With a camera set up, it's a studio. Was that? All right, come out over here. What? 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 Church. Forty degrees south southwest. That came from nothing. That was transported there. They have a transporter, or uh, however they're gonna put it. Yep. What the fuck? You can't wait for backup, dude. Wait. Come in! Hey, he's here. Right. Call some police. Everybody, down on the ground. You, turn that fucking thing off. What the hell is going on here? What's going on here, Wade, is that I went to a lot of trouble to bring you in. We even rigged the lettuce to fall off the damn truck. But if you're just going to keep yelling, I'm not going to be able to tell you why. Blanks, yeah. Blanks, Wade. Just to be safe. This is the only way to show you the truth, Wade. <laughs> okay. You put that in all your heads? Protect the gray matter from psychic blasts, man. I know who you are, Logan Vines. Are you even trying to disguise your war center? Shit, I still wearing my mask. Sorry. That is just incredibly rude. This is just for them. I didn't catch that. Kill me. What? Wait. Buddy, why would I kill you? I'm gonna show you something. And after you see it, you're gonna walk out of here, and you're never gonna be afraid of big teleporting aliens ever again. Because I'm gonna set you free. In return, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. I'll call it a squid pro quo. This Angela Abar, she either killed Judge Crawford or she knows who did. I know Agent Blake already suspects her, so how about you just help that along? Angela trusts you. Serve her up, and that way I don't have to ask these racist Okies to go to her house and kill her and her entire fucking family. I just need to get her off the board for a couple of days while I wrap things up. You can tell your cop buddies I'm running the cavalry, and then I'll convince them all you're crazy, which will not be difficult given your secret shiny hats. Or you can press play and finally be free. Hello, Robin. Adrian Bike here. Okay, Spike. Assuming my instructions have been followed to the letter, today is January 21st, 1993, and you were just inaugurated. I am recording this message on November 1st, 1985 seven years in your past. How could I predict that you would be elected president with such incredible accuracy? There's a giant eye behind him. Because I didn't predict it. I planned it. In 24 hours time, that's seven years ago for you, an extra dimensional monster will materialize in Manhattan, unleashing a psychic blast that kills half the city's population and traumatizes millions more. Yet the monster will not come from another dimension at all. Will it come from me? A hoax, Mr. President. An elaborate, meticulously engineered hoax. So that's why they're wearing the Rorschach masks. Because Rorschach wanted to tell the truth about Vite. And he was the one that did the squid. I just rhymed. And that's why Dr. Manhattan killed him, because they needed the population to believe that the squid came from space, another dimension, whatever, to keep them afraid, to keep them 
having a common enemy. That's why they're wearing the Rorschach masks. Okay, it all makes sense now. Well, not all, but that part. <laughs> because they know the truth about the squid that did not come from space or whatever. It came from Vite. It was a hoax. Which is what Rorschach wanted everyone to know. Okay. Well, Vite. He's really going to try this shit. Shot to the moon? And he's facing Mars, which is where Dr. Manhattan would be. building a pile. Ow. Stop it. Dead space. Ah, uh, dead space. Ah. Uh. Save me. And you are? If you continue to defy the laws of this land and those of us who serve it. <clears throat> Master Adrian Vite, by the power vested in me as warden of these lands, I place you under arrest. Nostalgia. These are memories. Whose memories? Uh oh. They're her grandfather's memories. They're my grandfather's. He was at the tree. He said he killed Crawford, but he's a hundred years old. It's not possible. Oh, he's selling her out. Mm. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Hands! Hands! Show me your hands! Do not fucking move! Thank you, Adrian. Fucking do fucking cover. Whoa, 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 whoa. So she took all the pills, and they were talking about how that can cause some bad shit. I don't remember what they said, but nothing good. Oh, that was the extra damage. He tossed it. Ooh, the security thing or the the. Okay, not yet. Not yet, but he's getting there. Uh oh. Uh oh. I thought you were. Uh oh. Some enchanted evening. What the fuck? Why capture him, lure him to show him that video, and then you're just gonna kill him? What the fuck's the point? Because you got what you wanted? You got uh, Sister Nun arrested? Or taken out of the. Taken out of the equation, if you will. You got what you want us, and now he can die? Yeah, probably. Very interesting backstory for Looking Glass there. Wade, uh, you know, he was just across the river from when the squid happened. I'm kind of glad they went with a squid, which was the comic. What happened to the comic? Rather than, apparently what happened in the movie was just like a giant energy ball that that destroyed Manhattan which you know the way I had 
it seemed described to me was like that that's easier to swallow for mainstream audiences than a giant psychic squid <laughs> which yeah true but I really like that they went the squid route this time because that is just so fucking weird and it would totally fuck everyone up it's like what happened a squid fell from space what that's gonna happen again and there's little mini squids that apparently occasionally fall from the sky as if like what remnants of the giant squid they haven't really said yet if that's the case but it's fucking weird and apparently it's happened so often it's been happening for so long that people are just used to it they turn on their windshield wipers and they're like ugh man it's like that's fucked up it seems like looking glass is turning like he he very briefly like threw away that the reflective stuff that he orders from uh, the, the business that makes it also that alarm he has that went off that never really got explained why it went off was it just a lost situation he, he missed his 108 minutes the senator is with the the seventh cavalry as is Trixie that jerk I love Trixie though if you don't get the reference Trixie's from Deadwood and a bunch of other cool stuff too don't get me wrong but I mean that's that's the big nut She's, she was on Deadwood, and she's fucking awesome. So I'm excited to see more from her in this show. So that, that that's awesome. We don't know what the 7th Cavalry is doing with the portal thing yet. Apparently something similar to the giant squid, but more original is what they seem to say. Who knows what they're doing. But uh, their motives aren't just, you know... I think the racism thing is a is a ruse, right? Like they seem to be almost owning the whole we're racist. We think all white people. It's like mm, that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems like they're trying to do something else. But may, I could be way off there. Maybe it's both. You know, maybe they're trying to to let the world know what uh, Vite did, that he was responsible for the squid. Plus a little white supremacy. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Uh, what, what's going to happen next? Where is it going? Are you happy that they're they're sticking with the story from the comic? And that's the, the direction they're going? Or do you want to see, you know, a really jacked Dr. Manhattan with a gigantic blue dick? Like in the movie. What would you prefer? I'm just saying relative to their size, you know the Smurfs were swinging, right? Like, it was just the one chick. But, you, you know, Papa Smurf was just... Just smacking into his knees. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Give it a like and hit subscribe if you like what we're doing around here. So you can follow this one right here. Over here. On all these social media type things. You should. He's entertaining. Also, go ahead and check out more videos on the channel. We have lots of fun around here reviewing our favorite shows. Not only just us, but our kids. So, hee <laughs> hee. And check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash JK Calloway if you want to support the channel. My name is JK Calloway. Shabbat. Shabbat. We'll talk to you next time.